Oi mates, my name is Captain Quiddell, and welcome back to Zell. It has been a very long time, in fact I would say it's been way too long since I've been able to play this game. I actually bought this game when it first came out last October of 2019, but I ran into a lot of issues and I wasn't actually able to play it. Now I know a lot of the content that's made for this game is in another language, so I don't imagine that this video is going to reach a lot of people. But I did want to make this video because I absolutely love this game. I played the demo of this game, I think, October of 2018, back when I was still in my first year of college, I believe. I think so. Anyways, it's such a great game. I love the aspect. I love the story. I love the art behind it. The The author behind this game worked super hard. They had a Kickstarter, which did not meet the goal, but they did power through and they made sure the game was finished with their own money. And I really respect that. I have nothing but respect for this author, and I love this game, so I'm, I'm really happy to be here playing the full playthrough, or playing the full game today. So we're actually going to be going through and starting a new game, which kind of bites because I I did try to record this a couple other times, but I kept running into issues. I didn't get super far, but I, I got far enough. Like I, I guess I got like a quarter of the way through the game. But I do love this. This visual right here is amazing. The way the castle looks and the forest underneath it, the barren trees, the, the single lights right there, the starry night sky. It's it's such a beautiful setting. And I, now I guess, the, I'm, I'm pretty sure this is chapter one and it's titled A Bad Dream. And then this is our main character. And then this is the bad dream, I guess. Mm-hmm. I hate these dreams. I'm pretty sure everyone in, in like in the world's had a dream like this, when you're just walking and then there's just this thing looming behind you. No matter how fast you run, you just can't seem to get away from it. Although I will say this, I've never been chased by a giant kiwi before. It's not something I technically want to do. He does seem like a very angry fellow, though, doesn't he? Very angry indeed. But thankfully, it's just a dream. Oh man, I've missed this. It's super cool. Now, here's what we do. You can click on things to examine them. Right? So these are all the things in the room that we can click on. And as we go through clicking on all these things, they're actually going to start the uh, opening credits. There's a note on the desk, and it says, Leaving this room is forbidden. Awesome. There are rows of books of the goddess's teachings. They all deal with different difficult topics with like what love and mercy truly are. The masked man tries his best to teach me about the parts I don't understand, but I'm not very interested in it. Presented by Fuming. And that's the author, the artist behind everything. Has it already been a week since I was locked in here? This picture was taken when I first came to the castle, so I guess this is the masked man. Who in the world is the masked man behind me in this picture? I have no idea what his goal is, but he loves me like I'm his own child. Except, he won't let me out of this room. Music by Xion. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. If the picture I took with the mask... Or, no, we, we already read through that. Now, as we go through, I'm also going to be reminding myself of everything that happened. Or everything that is the story and everything. Because I have forgotten it. It's been quite a while. This is Nocturne, or Nocturne Castle. It's a pretty famous castle around here, but no one goes close to it because it's rumored to be haunted by evil spirits. Will I die here? That is a very heavy question for a child to be answering. The moon's glowing beautifully. It's a full moon tonight. The window is unlocked, but looking down, it freezes my feet in place. Package is de designed by... Yes. Hmm. I think I heard the door unlock. Zell. So. I do love how you interact with everything. And it shows our character like picking up a book in the bookshelf and picking up the picture and the picture frame and looking down the window. It's just really cool. The small little touches that I, I find really, really nice. Hell yeah, we're going to leave the room. Nothing better to do in here. Okay, the game is saved each time you move. Perfect. So I need to keep that in mind because I actually didn't remember that last time. So each time we move, the game saves. So if I need a quick save, I can just turn around, walk forward, turn around, and walk back. Now, this is going to be kind of like a point-and-click story-driven kind of game. 
a lot of it's going to be just like this. There is a battle mechanic that I do remember fondly because it's one of my favorite indie game battle mechanics. So we're going to be seeing that here pretty soon. I have no clue who this person is, but I love them because they're adorable. And that is a beautiful moon. Awesome. Cool, cool, cool. Cool. I've already seen a lot of this, mostly because one, I've played the demo, and two, like I said, I've recorded some of this, so some of my memories are coming back. But now we're on chapter two, I believe, and this is the goddess. The statue of an angel. It feels nice and smooth. Nice and smooth, you say? My skin is one of my best features. All right, now I'm just going to go out right out and say this. If I'm, you know, like feeling the texture of a statue and it straight up talk, like, starts talking to me, I'm just going to go ahead and chalk that up to another thing that I'm freaking terrified of. Like dolls? No, I can't do dolls. Mannequins? Can't do mannequins. Statues? I'm cool with statues. But if a statue did this to me, I'd be out. I'd be out like a light. I'd probably pass out right there. It'd probably be the way I die. It's nice to meet you. You may call me Miss Goddess. I descended to this earthly world just to meet you. Hmm. From what I can tell, you're trying to continue onward to escape from this castle, correct? I'm sure your mother is waiting anxiously for your return as well. But many evil spirits live in this castle, so it would be dangerous to wander around empty-handed. And that is why I have prepared this for you. Got a rosary. It works simply enough. When you are attacked by an evil spirit, the rosary screen will appear like so. There are three colors in all. It's very cute. Clicking on the rosary that matches the evil spirit's color will eradicate... Mmm, me, calm them down. Look closely to your opponent's eyes to determine the color. So, what the, basically what they're saying here is, whenever we're attacked or the battle prompt comes up, we just need to look and see what the color of the evil spirit is and then we need to match the corresponding color to one of these ro rosaries sounds simple enough but i can assure you it does get very difficult once you know their eye color click on the rosary of the same color see right here it says it, it's red text but if we look on god the goddess's eyes they're actually yellow so if this was a fight we might have to use the yellow rosary you have a limited amount of time so be both careful and swift see perfectly simple um, that's all there is to it. Also, if you hit the wrong rosary, then you will actually have to do the fight again. You will you will lose. Yes, I do understand. It seems that you got the idea. I'm glad. No need to worry. I'm sure you'll get used to it one or I'm sure you'll get used to it. There was one other thing. Oh, well, that's right. I needed to give you a map of the castle. Here you are. You can open it at any time by clicking the map icon below. It gives you a good layout of the castle, so use it when you're lost. I hope you can return home soon. This is all I can do for you. I'll be praying that all goes well. Hmm, it's a good thing you were able to get that rosary before moving on. You must be quite fortunate. It looks like a demon has already come to kill you. You can't escape now. And... What's off? I love this battle mechanic. It's super cool. Also, the way that some enemies in there, or like like they show themselves right there. That's one of my favorites. Just peeling back the screen. Oh yeah, and then after every exorcism, we'll get this screen right here. Jesus, I forgot about this. Hi, how you doing? Wait, you give me the creeps. Absolutely wonderful. You were able to wield the rosary's power so perfectly. I apologize for putting you through such a sudden trial. I just had to know if you'd be, or if you had the alpet, 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 if you could use it. But it seems that there was no need to worry. I'm so eager to see how much you'll grow. Oh, I'm just beside myself with excitement. Now then, I'm looking forward to the time when we'll see each other again. Lady, you creep me out. Lady, you creep me the hell out. There's a lot of things about this quote-unquote goddess person that I just don't like. One, the rosaries. You know, I guess if they're, you know, an angel or a goddess, it would make sense that they would have some sort of biblical or holy relics. But why the hell do they have a map of the castle? 
I can read it by clicking on it. The view from the top is superb. The moon and stars are dazzling. I wonder if I could make it outside by leaping from here. It looks rather high up. I'd be a laughing stock if I joined the heavens like that. I should forget about that. Actually, that brings up a pretty good point. I'm not the only person that envisions how awkward it would be to explain to whatever deity, or I guess if you believe in that, but to explain to like something when you die, like how you died. Hmm. Oh, wait, no, I remember this fight. This is also another one of my favorite fights. You can hear that knocking, can't you? There's something right behind me. And it's right there. <laughs> God, it's so... I, I will say a lot of these fights are really cool, and there's some, there's, some of these are my favorite, but I do not like them. Don't get me wrong, they're really cool, I love the graphics, I love how they're introduced, but I don't fucking like them. I really don't. Actually, is this... No, I think we're going the right way. No, we're not going the right way. I always forget. I always turn back around whenever we go this way. I don't think... No, we do have to be in here. Just for a little bit. It's a picture of a young man. Is he the one who lives in this room? Mm. Cool. Okay, there's something glittering in the bottom of the toilet. I don't think I can reach it with my hand. Okay. It's all starting to come back to me now. It's kind of unfair whenever I've played a game or a demo a little bit. Because I like to do things on like the like fresh starts. That's what I like to do. But I don't get the chance to do that all the time. It does break my heart a little bit. But I will say that Zell is one of my favorite indie games that I've played here recently. Or I guess ever really. Okay, cool. So we got this butterfly net. That guy's gonna disappear. And it should be red eyes, I believe. Yep, right there. See, that's the thing. I can't be surprised by it. I, I can anticipate it, but I can't be shocked by it, which kind of sucks. But that is a really good one. And so far, we've been doing pretty good on our exorcisms. Speaking of exorcism, I cannot wait for the Faith on Holy Trinity to come out. It's going to be a great game. And if you haven't seen my videos on the Faith series yet, I will go ahead and put a card right here in the corner right now that you can check out, and uh, yeah, I'd recommend it. It follows kind of the same premise, not exactly, but it does deal with demons and stuff like that. So if that's your cup of tea, then I'd highly recommend it because the Faith, the Faith games are an amazing, amazing game. That it, it, it's really, really cool. Okay, the only reason why I'm talking about other games while I'm playing through this is I don't really have a lot to say about this. The first segment of this i played through a couple times, so I can't really be surprised or shocked by it. And really, it's just kind of like a walkthrough at this point. Okay, so we take the eyes that we get from the toilet that we use the butterfly net to get, we put them inside the statue, and we go through this same passageway. Also, I don't know if you noticed, but the statue is actually the same demon that we fought first. It's the first demon we fought, which is pretty cool, if you ask me. I love tie-ins like that. I can't remember what's in here. Okay, it's an air vent. I think I'm remembering this. Right. Awesome. So we do need that key. We turn right back around. And is this the way back? Yes, yes it is the way back. Okay. So we need to actually turn around and walk this way. And oh, I hate this room so much. God, I hate baby dolls. We're gonna grab this rod here, the light's gonna go out, and then the doll that's sitting on the table is gonna be gone. Please be gone. 
don't shock me like this and jump out at me. Okay. Okay, thank God. Okay. I hate this room so much. There's all these doll heads everywhere, and then you got this, like, this doll centipede right here, and these elongated dolls. I hate dolls. I don't think we need to go... Okay, yeah, we don't need to go into the air vent just yet. I think we need to at some point, but just not now. Okay. And this way. And we use the rod to grab this key here. Yes. I'm gonna grab this moon key. Can't quite get it. Then this should trigger another fight. Yep. I believe this eye color is yellow, but I'm not exactly sure. Red, okay. Ah, oh, damn. Hey, but at least we get to see the game over screen. That's pretty cool. Yes, we will be continuing. Okay. Now, like I said beforehand, it does get more difficult. And as you can see there, the rosaries were actually spinning. There were four sets of rosaries, and they were, they were rotating in a circular pattern. So we are going to get some other rosary setups, I, I guess you could say. This is where the game starts to take on a little bit of skill. Actually, a lot of skill. Eye tracking is very essential here. Of course, you could wait until it slows down quite a bit, but you won't get as high of a rank. Ugh, I forgot about that. Mm, rank B, not too bad. Although, I don't know if there's anything if you make like all your exorcisms rank A, or I don't even know if there's anything above rank A. Regardless, I'm happy with whatever we get. I'm happy just to be going through and learning the story and seeing the characters. That's more than enough for me. Maybe I'll come back through and do a run where I try and 100% everything. Okay, I don't think there's anything else that we can do in this area. So we're going to have to walk back this way. And... Awesome. See, it sucks. I love that jump scare the first time. I also love how he slowly slides down the wall. Like, you can put that sound effect right there, and it's just great. Okay, now then. We are about 17 minutes into our recording. There are a couple more things that I want to take care of before the next episode. So we're going to go ahead and head right up this door. And there should be another fight right here. I don't need this key anymore. Or there should be a fight. Yeah, here it is. And we're going to take care of it now. It should be red, right? Awesome. Ooh, this is going to be bloody. Ah, the pulsating of the brain. I'm not, I'm not too squeamish around gore, but I'm not one to very much, you know, see it. I'm not a big fan of gore. Okay, so we just unlocked this room. We're actually going to wait to go into this room until the next episode. So we're going to turn right back around, and we're actually going to examine this book, because I can't remember if there's anything important on this book or not. Okay, here we go. Adolf's notes. Every so often, the demons living in hell show their horrid forms on earth, repeating a cycle. However, many of those who are actually labeled as demons are actually sinners who have fallen into hell. Their souls finally obtain relief as they run away after an eternity of torture, but their compounded rage and hatred alters them into beings whose soul desires to burn the whole world. And when hell becomes too full, they overflow into the earth. It is the duty of those chosen by the gods to drive those demons back. They, but they are nothing more than disposable pawns burdened with a grave responsibility. If what the Reaper with the avian mask said is true, am I, too, just a mere pawn? That right there is actually a lot of lore. So Nocturne Castle is a very big castle and remember when we were examining the picture it said that if this place is rumored to be haunted by demons this book here states that demons are created when sinners fall into hell and after eons of torture they become grotesque monsters that attack individuals or are extremely hostile so that's what we've been seeing uh the skeleton 
technically the baby doll, the scarecrow figure, all of these are demons. This castle is going to be completely crawling with demons, not to mention puzzles, uh, point and click stuff. There's going to be tons of lore and tons of interesting characters. I absolutely love Zell, and I really hope that you guys will enjoy or enjoy the videos that I put and you'll join me on my adventures. If you want to join me on my adventures, make sure that you subscribe, hit the bell icon so you notify when the next episode comes up, and you comment down below whether you like something or if you want me to go back and see something or anything like that. And if you want to play this game for yourself, I will link the Steam page down below, and I will also link the artist's Twitter if you want to go and check out their stuff. I will warn you though, it a lot of the posts or majority of the posts they make are in Japanese, but Twitter does come with a, uh, a translate feature powered by Google. So that's pretty cool. So yeah, that's, that's all I have to say. I'm super excited to be back. I'm super excited to be playing this game and I'm super happy that it's, it's working out so far. So again, thank you guys so much for everything you've done and sticking with me and watching my videos. And as always, my name's Captain, Captain Cordell, and I'll see you in the next video.